It's, a, it's actually a lot of fun. You sort of feel like you're um, at the frontier of uh, medical study. Before I'm like, oh my gosh, like all these needles like almost every single week. It feels okay sometimes. <laughs> I really like to help other people a lot. I got to wear an astronaut hat, but it wasn't really an astronaut hat, and I got to watch TV. It was really fun. The astronaut helmet is um, a tool that measures um, how many calories at rest Isabel um, burns so that they can compare that to children who don't have short bowel syndrome and see if they burn more or less or the same amount of calories. It helps us to understand her growth as she continues to um, age and mature and then it also helps other children. Okay, so when I say go, you're going to kick out, okay? Ready, set, go, 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 kick, 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 Good job. Ready, set, go. Go, 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 keep going, 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 go, 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 go. The best part of being here is meeting new people and getting to know about them. Here's Ivy. Baby. <laughs> you get more her name's Ivy. So what do you have to do when, what do the nurses do when they're gonna check, when they're gonna do a blood draw? Um. Do they check to make sure it's you first? Yeah. So you wanna check and make sure it's her? Green Ivy, yep, it's her. Okay. I was taking blood from an IV to test to see if the blood is good or not, and or if you have something in it. It's really fun. I'll do it. Nice job. I'm here for my son, Brett, who's actually in a clinical research trial with Dr. Umetsu and Dr. Snyder, and he's going through milk desensitization. The first time trying milk as before, if I had a, even a drop of milk, I would ha have to be raised to the hospital. This study has really given us a lot of hope for Brett and for my other son Nicholas and for the you know millions of people around the world who suffer from food allergies. To have like an ice cream or pizza party when I'm done. I'm one of the few people who have Factor 13, me and my sister, who are doing this study. It's a, it's a rare disease, so being able to do anything to help um, try to find solutions to it. This is the first, I think, attempt at finding a recombinant. So it was exciting to try to solve our problems as well as the problems of other people who have the same disease. We're not actually on the study anymore because we developed antibodies to it. So it's, uh, and that was frightening to find that out because that was the one fear we had coming into it. Just furthering the research would be enough for me because, uh, you know, the, the more research, the closer they are to finding a cure or some sort of supplement. So uh, my hopes are that medicine uh, is uh, increased and broadened and knowledge is uh, found.